Not for the first time, Ukraine's President Zelensky came to the halls of Congress with a request. Will they allow you to send missiles deeper into Russia, Mr. President? Do they endorse your victory plan? Will the President give you that permission, Mr. President? Firing deeper into Russia is an ask that Zelensky believes will allow Ukraine to put Russia on the back foot and begin to end this war. But he needs the green light from Joe Biden first. Ukrainian people have fought and died to win a future of freedom and independence. Mr. President, we all, we all stand by your side. The U.S. president made that promise directly to Zelensky in New York yesterday, and this morning he announced another multi-billion dollar package of support for Kyiv. But for fear of escalation, the permission to fire American long-range missiles further into Russia has not, so far, been granted, though some believe it should. If you continue the policy of holding um, Ukraine back because you're worried about escalation, you will doom them to lose. So, Mr. President, Biden, I know you want Ukraine to prevail. You need to allow President Zelensky to execute his plan. Earlier in the week, President Zelensky toured an ammunition plant in Pennsylvania. It so far supplied more than three million artillery shells to Ukraine, but Zelensky told them he needed more. The U.S. has already provided over $170 billion worth of aid to Ukraine, and some, like Donald Trump, believe the time has come to stop asking for more and start negotiating Zelensky peace. Is here. I think Zelensky is the greatest salesman in history. Every time he comes into the country, he walks away with $60 billion. Billion! As president-elect, if I win this election, the first thing I'm going to do is call up Zelensky and call up President Putin, and I'm going to say, you got to make a deal. This is crazy. Trump's version of a deal, though, means Ukraine surrendering territory to Russia, which they are not prepared to do, especially as Russian missiles continue to rain down, as they did yesterday in the city of Kramatorsk in the east. Hence Zelensky's victory plan, which he'll present today to President Biden, with a plea to put aside the fear of Russian retaliation and allow Ukraine to use American long-range missiles to hit Putin hard. Mr President, can you bring an end to this war? Of course we have to. Of course we have to, Zelensky says, and that's why he's here, to get the green light to use the weapons to finish the job. And Siobhan joins us now live from Washington with the latest. Siobhan. Well, Christian, we are awaiting the arrival, if he hasn't arrived already, of President Zelensky in the White House there behind me, where he's due to meet President Biden and where he will present this victory plan, I think, as an opportunity for Joe Biden to leave office with a legacy of having helped Ukraine win the war with Russia. And to do that, he will need to persuade the president to allow Ukraine to use those American long range missiles to allow Ukraine to penetrate deeper into Russian territory to stop Russia from pummeling its front line, the front line in Ukraine, as hard as it is. Now, we know Joe Biden is reluctant to give the green light, to give his permission, because he's worried about crossing perhaps one of uh, President Putin's red lines and escalating the war, dragging America into a wider war, uh, just as he is leaving office. Well, President Zelensky is here today to tell Joe Biden to take that risk. Whether or not he succeeds, we may or may not find out later on today.